The center of the Earth, also called the core, constitutes an unlimited amount of energy in the form of magma. The phenomenon of volcanic eruptions allows us to witness this incredible power. Did you hear that? The center of the Earth is where we can find enough energy to power our spaceship. Okay, everyone, get packing. The expedition to the center of the Earth leaves in 15 minutes. We are not doing any such thing. Okay, well, it's either that or I'll have to continue doing my research on pork and bean natural gas power. Stop! According to my calculations, we can reach the center of the Earth through this manhole cover. Anytime you want to quit clowning around, we'll be over here waiting for you so we can leave. Wow. This sure is a deep, dark, scary, never-ending tunnel. Anyone want to sing? No! no. God, I think we have visitors. This is fantastic. Can you feel the negative ions? Not really. Are you sure this is the center of the Earth? Yeah, God, of course not. The center of the Earth is about three days of walking from here. Narf, you should have no problem getting there with calf muscles like this. Who are you? And what are you saying? <laughs> I'm Eddie, and this is Jerry, huh? I'm leaving for the center of the Earth right now! If you want to follow me, I will take you there. Did you understand what he just said? I think he either said he would feast on our internal organs, or he would show us the way to the center of the Earth. Thank you, friend. We follow you in peace. Ye God! Let's go! Narf, narf! <laughs> what did he say? He said, this way to the dinner table. Hmm, this must be the scenic route. This place is disgusting, and it certainly could use a good cleaning. Oh, come now, Candy. It's not every day you have the opportunity to see stalactites so close. <laughs> and now a stalagmite. This is your lucky day. Doesn't this little beast have a leash? Hey guys! So, uh, how is the thingies up topside, huh? Narf, narf. It's been so long since I've been up there, Neef. Oh yes, I agree. It is best when the cheese is cooked crispy. Here, yeah, boy! Come on, fella! <laughs> God, Zooks, what do you, what's wrong with crazy you, boy -o? Do you know what kind of back pressure that makes in the car? Huh? Huh. What's wrong with Marble Mouth? No sense of humor. Mm, nif, nif. This is some kind nice of calf you are having there, hmm? Narf! Your friend is a little sensitive. <laughs> narf, narf, I'm hungry. Please, you guys ready to be dinner? We come in peace. Please, we mean you no harm. Oh, center of our specialty. Hot, soft, greasy fries. Thanks, but we're not quite ready for dinner right now. Maybe you could find another main course. 
They should eat my good fries. They'll need the energy later. Well, that's particularly nasty smelling. Watch your step. The mushrooms smell like fresh gorilla excrement with a side of burnt hair. What did you say? Never mind. I'm getting tired of all this walking. What? Oh, aren't you just the funniest guy at the center of the He's small yet firm. Oh man, I gotta find something to eat. I'm starving. Bingo! <laughs> One extra large eggnog coming up. Hey, and uh, how you doing? Uh, I was just uh, repositioning your egg here for you. I... Oh, go! <laughs> Hello, Officer Steve, Immigration Department. Uh, do you have any papers for that guy? Uh, I'm sorry, but we're gonna have to take him downtown. Uh, we'll check his status and we'll call you later with a report. Behold, Gorgax, the amazing magician. Watch as I take this egg and hocus pocus, abracadabra, and presto, it's disappeared. Charge! I'll let myself out. Listen, Janine, honey. You're breaking my heart. How can you deny me, the father of our love child, visitation rights? I'll just take him on the weekends. Where were you? Huh? Uh oh, me? Oh, I, I just uh, had to stop and use the restroom. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the center of the earth. You got <laughs> Welcome. What's that thing? God, Zooks! That's the car! <laughs> but it's so small and shriveled up. Yes, Narf, it's been like that ever since the Great Flood. We fixed the leak, but the car was ruined. But if that's the car, then where is the Earth's energy coming from? <laughs> God, Zooks! That's my job! I've been peddling for 40 years! Well, but I'm glad you're here to take over for me! Wait! That's not why we're here! Whoa, don't worry. It's easy! <laughs> you're crazy, Mushroom Man. We're not doing any peddling. Gee, guys! Harry won't be happy to hear that. Oh, really? You mean Dust Ball here? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'll pedal first. Okay, okay. We're pedaling as fast as we can. God, Zooks! I'm off for the top side. See ya! No, no. Yeah, right. Shove off. Now's not the time, bud. Hey, I think she's here to see you. Oh, uh, <laughs> hi, Janine. <laughs> Bad dust ball. Give back our love child. I'd say 
guys, now's the time. Exit stage left. There, an emergency exit. He got Zooks! He don't touch that! It's very dangerous! Oh, come down right now! What is that mushroom head saying? It's the Great Flood, part two! I to be a giant ocean here. Isn't it amazing? Complete and utter devastation. Well, hey, uh, you guys need a lift? It's a long walk from here. Feel the power. I could take you anywhere you want. Man-powered spaceship. No way. Don't even think about it. But the gentleman offered... No! Candy! Would you shut that thing off? Do you have to do that right in the middle of science fictional theater? Yeah, it's really beginning to make me mad. You always have to play with that dust picker-upper while we're watching TV. It's called a vacuum cleaner, you fat, illiterate oaf. You know where you can put your vacuum cleaner. <clears throat> Gentlemen? <laughs> Boy, I wish I had thought of that. Look what you've done! You have just destroyed the most wonderful piece of machinery known to mankind! It is my great pleasure to introduce to you my latest invention. Edno, why did you have to do that? I thought you were different from the others. Not now, Candy. And now, keep your eyes peeled as I demonstrate how this baby works. Please, hold your applause. You have all witnessed right here before your very eyes the world's first time machine. And you expect us to applaud this piece of junk? Yeah, what's the big deal? <laughs> Maybe I can get the notoriety I deserve from the science community. Wow, is it summer already? The ice cream man is here. <laughs> Howdy, Mr. Cream. Huh? Oh, I uh, <laughs> thought you were someone else. Uh, we already gave it the office, but thanks for stopping by. Huh? What do you punks think you're doing busting in here like that? Tax collector Matthew Galliani. I'm here to confiscate your furniture. <laughs> this is my warrant. Well, Warren's not putting one greasy finger on my furniture. Now beat it. <laughs> now, what seems to be the problem here? Let me handle this. Ahem. What can I do for you, fine gentlemen? You owe 23 years of back taxes. Mm -hmm. Pay up, or we're leaving with all your furniture. I can't believe they took everything! The TV, my chair, the fridge! But they left Etno's stupid machine behind! What? They left my machine? That's it! Gentlemen, this is our lucky day. We'll just go back in time. Wow, that was cool. My fridge is back. Everything's, Everything's back, back to normal. To normal. Uh, 
No, you're a genius. I know, Candy. I know. I take that back. You didn't go back in time far enough, genius. The machine only took us back 20 minutes. You mean they're back to take everything away again? Useless machine. Now they're going to take away my fridge. Gorgeous, what did you do to the machine? Hey, hold on a minute while I put some light on this situation. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> Edna, is that you? Stereo, you look so, uh, so barbaric. <laughs> Jeez, did, did someone beat you guys with an ugly stick? <laughs> you should see your faces. <laughs> I think I'm going to like living here. It feels more like home. Don't you think so, guys? Aha! Uh -huh. I'll make an omelet. Huh? Um, make that paprika pterodactyl. Huh? I believe you have something in your mouth that belongs to me. <sighs> Who could that be? Yes? Uh-oh. Your taxes are due. Fork it over. If you don't cooperate, we will take all your furniture. Now where are we? I don't know, but I hope they have cables. Wow, this is cool! Great Saturday Night Moats is on! There was a brave knight who fought a fair fight and saved his land from evil's deadly hand. Oh, gorgeous, you sing so well. It's so romantic. Oh, I love the Middle Ages. Gada banu banana goo, farafu badu badu. there huh by the laws of his majesty's order you are required to pay the royal tithe royal tithe my eye time for a royal trip <laughs> Would you look at this? Cool! Interactive 3D TV with gunfighters from the OK Corral! I'm gonna get ya, Kid Bongo. Andy, I was watching TV! Oh, sorry, bud, but someone has to keep this place clean. What do you want me to do with this banana, Edno? Just hold it still while I test my new prototype. The remote control banana peeler. I'm feeling a little peckish. Now let's see what's for dinner. Gelatinized chicken with a straw. Not them again. 
You have not paid your taxes. We will confiscate all your possessions. Let's beam out of here, but quick! Great idea, bud. Let's get this baby moving! Guys, we have a problem. There are only two buttons on the dashboard. Have no fear, Candy dear. All the furniture in the spaceship, Alex. Okay, Pavlov, we're here. My friends, the day has arrived. We're finally going home in my new chariot to the stars. So how is this spaceship any different than every other spaceship that you've built? Ah, by one simple fact. This one will not explode in the air at 1,300 feet. Of course, we'll have to avoid storms because I didn't order the optional lightning conductor. It was overpriced. Anyway, let's pack, everybody. Takeoff will take place as soon as possible. Ah, my most cherished possession. Kids never leave the house without your SMTV. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's talk. Oh, I can't believe we're actually on our way home! Hey, what you got there? This fantastic object is a marvel of earthbound science. I'm not sure what it is, but I wouldn't want to be on a desert island without it. I would bring my TV. I would bring the West Hollywood Men's Choir. <laughs> I would... Ah, of course, this has to happen the one time I drive! So, just how much was that optional lightning conductor? Okay, fellow aliens, please remain calm. There's good news and bad news. First, the bad news. We've crash-landed on a deserted, uninhabited island with no immediate way off. But the good news is, no humans live here. So here's the plan. We build a house and live here in paradise until the ship is fixed. Perfect. Who wants to be the first one for a guided tour? You might want to wait until the mud is dried. Whoa! Hey there! What are you doing with those bananas, little guy? Nails should do the trick. Ah, ah. Pamela, I love you. Run away with me. I can't, John. I have to wash my hair. <laughs> Guys, 
please. Woo! Dinner's ready. Tonight's menu. Banana salad, followed by seared banana T-bone with a side of fried bananas and creamed banana. And for dessert, a bananas flambe. Let us all give thanks to Gorgeous for this bountiful harvest. Someone's at the door. Who could it be at this late hour? <laughs> well, that was quite a story. <laughs> hey, wait a second. You don't believe this little lying sack of bananas, do you? Gorgeous, do you know these monkeys? No, just a case of mistaken identity. They destroyed our house! They're taking all our food! We're gonna starve to death! Savages! <laughs> I have an idea. If you can't beat them, join them. You see, it's all about territory. We built our home on their land, monkey land. They had to burn down our house and throw us out. It's a matter of pride. But if we become monkeys, we'll be able to cohabit and fix our spaceship in peace. And they will share their bananas with us. La, 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 la. First, we rebuild the house. Are you sure they're gonna give us some of their bananas? Yes, remember, when we're around monkeys, we have to act like monkeys in order to be accepted into the clan. <laughs> no, I said when we're around the monkeys. But it is important to remember who we are, because as soon as the ship is fixed, we are going home. and not one banana. Hey, what's all the monkeying about? Oh, they're playing volleyball with my panties. Excuse me, could I have your attention, please? My friends, the cohabitation has worked, providing me with enough time to complete the repairs on the spaceship. We are good to go. <laughs> hey, wait, I, I just took a teeny tiny little chunk of banana.
Don't panic, everyone. We just have to wait until they're asleep before we get into the spaceship. Remember, they have IQs that are almost as low as buds. Zebras, my spaceship. The well, good news is they won't get very far in this storm. Uh, what are we going to do? No spaceship, no home, no soap, no clean panties. Do you see what I see? Humans. Quick, act like monkeys. Hey, check out the monkeys. This one looks like your ex-wife. Yeah, only cuter. Want a banana? <laughs> Come on, you want a banana? <laughs> <laughs> he looks really stupid. Okay, don't inhale your food. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Zoo Central? Oh no, I don't believe this. We're on Gorilla Island at the city zoo. Well, the good news is we're within walking distance from home. They didn't get very far. Ah, they're in a house. They're making a mess. Oh, those horrific, ugly primates. Calm down. This is our territory. They will simply have to leave. Put that down! You're gonna break it, you stupid beast! Wait! That's not monkey food! What on earth are you doing? I could have been injured! Stop! Please stop! Don't, 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 don't! It's an antique! It's mahogany! It's fragile! Oh my god! Check this out! They're talking about us on TV! The monkeys that escaped from the city zoo have been located. Apparently, they haven't been returned to the zoo. But don't worry, folks, they are contained. In an unprecedented move, the zoo has created a glass-encased remote primate pen out of an abandoned house where the gorillas were found. How am I going to go shopping? <laughs> It's the landlord's car! It's the landlord, and he has a strange creature with him. It looks like some sort of hybrid. Part pig, part ape. Yeah, not a bad pet, Dad. After we knock a few holes in the walls, rip up the carpets, and set a mattress or two on fire, It'll be just like home. Me and a gang will move in our junk tomorrow. Bikers? They're almost as bad as that family of politicians we just got rid of. Those hoods will ruin my carpet with their crazy machines. They'll blow their noses with my lace hankies. They'll burn garbage in the bathtub. And get their skid marks all over the sofa. What will the neighbors think? Hey, where is the obvious place to go to escape from these loony humans? Las Vegas? No. We simply go into the past. I have the know-how 
to build a time machine that will take us, house and all, into the distant past, to a better world, to a paradise on Earth. Hip, hip, hip. He who fools with the fabric of time juggles the eggs of fate. <laughs> <laughs> that bun always says the funniest crap in his sleep. <laughs> okay, men, there's time to lose. So let's get our butts in gear, throw in reverse, and run headlong backwards into the past. Yes, sir, Captain Sir. Move it, monkeys, move it! Touch that TV, and I'll be able to watch it through you! <laughs> Just keeping it tidy for you, bud. <laughs> well, fellas, there she is. Isn't she fabby? Good times, here we went. It worked! We've gone back in time 300 years! Yes! Now we can live in peace and harmony with nature. Wow! It's beautiful! And clean! No cars, no noise, and no stupid tenants! Yes, Stereo, you're right. For you see, way back in these days, people weren't stupid yet. They were merely ignorant. Land! Land! What art thou so happy about, Zeke? We are hopelessly lost on some godforsaken shore. Our vessel has been torn asunder on yon craggy rock. We've no food or shelter. And even if we don't starve to death, we'll probably be eaten alive by godless, bloodthirsty Caraban! Well, boys, what did I tell you? Yeah, buddy! Sheer paradise. Cool! Groovy! Seest thou that, Jed? What didst I say unto you? Keepest thou the faith, and ye shall be provided for. I have to hand it to ye, Zeke. Ye were not kidding. Well, shall we? Let's shall. What the? Merely ignorant, he says. Not stupid yet. Ha! Huh. I say your dumb theories stink. What are you gonna do now, smart guy? I still say these simple, hard-working pioneers will make ideal housemates. Stereo, fire up the SMTV. I've got a plan. Welcome, my weary friends. Welcome to our humble home. Witch! Oh, they're already introducing Ethno to their customs. Yeah.
Well, Stereo, it's up to you to make friends with our new neighbors. And you shall be disguised as a harmless native creature so as not to frighten them. Yea, verily, Zeke. There is nothing like hot buttered wood on the cob. Thou art right, Brother Jed. And it sure beats log kebabs any day. Pardon us. Couldn't help smelling your wonderful cooking. May we join you? Here comes Stereo. I wonder how he managed. <gasps> one smart crack out of anybody. I'll bust him one good. Hi. 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 Indians. Uh, uh, put away your fire sticks, dear fellows. We are friendly Indians. He who smokes from the pipes of peace must joineth the tribe in feast of breakfast cereals. Let us now bow our heads in thanks to the great god Granola for this bountiful feast. Seems humans have been stupid from day one. We're no better off here in the past than back in the future. I told you! He who juggled the eggs of time ended up with them all over his face! <laughs> ah, shut up! Broadcasting live from a remote launch pad in Siberia. So get ready, ladies and gentlemen, and fasten your seatbelts. Because today we are bringing to you the launch of the first commercial intergalactic space flight. Brought to you by Stay Bubbly Beverages. <laughs> That's ridiculous. The human private sector doesn't know the first thing about space science and space travel. Former bus driver Vader Salapsky is the pilot for this maiden flight. And his mission, find extraterrestrial life forms. Good luck to you, Fedor. The world is counting on you. No problem. Fedor, find little green man. Trust me. And we have a successful liftoff. Hey, not a bad start for the private sector. Oh no, it seems we've lost contact with the Stay Bubbly spacecraft. Oh, this could spell disaster for the private sector space mission. And remember, Stay Bubbly tickles when it goes down. Yeah, see, I told you these people are amateurs. Well, it takes one to know one. Karashov! That was fast! We're already here? Well, well, well. This is very interesting. Barren, unhospitable landscape. No sign of intelligent life. Let's go exploring! Gravity! 
That's a good sign. Oh, my, it's that bus driver from space. Maybe we should make friends with him. Well, why don't you invite the alien hunter over for tea and cookies? Hmm. Let's not be hasty. I think we should observe him closely. One not-so-big step for humanity, and one stumble for Fedor. <laughs> My beautiful chenille chair! Major discovery! Alien flora! <laughs> Test for radiation. Hmm. Hmm. No radiation detected. It's perfect. Do you see that? He killed Esmeralda! Amazing geological diversity. Proceed with mission sampling quota. Extraction. Sample extracted. Oh, my beautiful living room! <laughs> I'm feeling weak. I think I'm dying. <laughs> Would you calm down? It was just a bunch of garage sale crap anyway. Whoopsie. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. My lunch! Hello. I come in peace. Me, inhabitant of planet Earth. Take me to your leader. Let me go! I will kill him if he ate my sandwich! Hold on, hold on, I have a plan. All right, is everyone calm now? Okay, I'm calm now. Okay, good. Here's the situation. A. The bus driver thinks he's on an alien planet. B. His ship is wrecked. And C, we beat him up and kick him out. <clears throat> C, we make a diversion while I fix the spaceship. While well, you try, try to fix the, to fix the spaceship. spaceship. Anyway, after I've fixed this rudimentary human spacecraft, we lift off and head back to our home planet. Well, it sounds like it might work, but how are we supposed to make a diversion? Natural charm, my friend. Natural charm. I am Fedor. Welcome to planet uh, Etnerth, space traveler. Ah, uh, the real name of the planet is Etnerth Gorgia. The alien speaks English. Actually, we're over here, Mr. Space Traveler. <laughs> Welcome to planet Etnerth Gorgia, the planet that has an ever-expanding name. <laughs> da, da, da. Pleased to meet you, lower alien life forms. We come in peace. Speak for yourself. We the Lufas are the only inhabitants on this planet. We're at your service, O oh great godlike master. Yeah, whatever. I am Fedor Zalepsky from planet Earth. I came in my spaceship. Looks more like a space wreck. But I can fix it for you, oh great one. <laughs> no offense, but your primitive mind could not possibly comprehend the inner workings of such a sophisticated craft. Well, you're right about that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just a little loofah tradition. But now it's time for a big traditional loofah folk show. <laughs> da, da, da. Fedor like folk dancing. All right, then. Now, let's fix this thing. Okay, first things first. Okay, time for the loofahs to get down. Bravo, bravo. Now for the acoustic version. Very original. Fedor wants more. Fedor wants you to worship Fedor. Me no understandy. Primitive beings, you must obey the great Fedor. I want to crush the great Fedor. Calm down. Think about the spaceship. We're going home. Yeah, I guess you're right. I can kick his butt just before we leave. Hmm. 
It doesn't seem quite right. I must have inverted some wires. Oh, magnificent being! I live to serve you! Uh, sir? Mr. Fedor, you... you are really, really just the best! Not bad, not bad, but Fedor wants more. Fedor wants pomp and circumstance. Fedor wants sacrifice and pain. Oh, great Fedor, I'll pay for your joy. I'll suffer for your hiding pleasure. If I have to take any more of your joy, I might have to inflict a little more pleasure on you. Well, that's getting a little closer. Now, we will see the amazing alien yogurt jump. <laughs> this dive for you, oh great master. And because we're tired of staying on this planet. <laughs> Bravo, comrades. The Lufa people thank you, oh great compassionate master. Hmm, you know, this is trickier than I thought. I have no custom for the loofers, the walking on hot coals tradition. Ah, I think I figured it out. Now all I have to do is build a bigger one. And now it is time for your great king to choose a wife. Well, th 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 there's no one here that... Uh... Hey, let us know how the honeymoon turns out. There, I've finished. Sorry, oh great king potentate, but the loofers must indulge in their nap ritual. Can't fight tradition, you know. <laughs> Whew. Borscht. It's getting hot in here. Ah! This is the good air. You know, you could have taken a little longer. Well, there was some fine tuning involved. But the good news is the ship is ready for immediate takeoff. <laughs> Fedor breaks stuff. Real good. Fedor, king of the loofers. Fedor, stay here on Etna Gorgina forever. <laughs> message to all units. Message to all units. We've located the spaceship in a house to rent. Immediate intervention. So what's the plan now, genius? Okay, that's what I thought. Time to do this my way. Hey, Fedor, want to see a new Lufa custom? <laughs> Duh! Oh. So, what do you think? <laughs> I made it up myself. To the SMTV! La, 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 la. Hello there. You sure took your time. Okay, here you go. Oh, excuse me. I'll take that. Here, you might want this. Phew! I miss the TV. Yes, I'm feeling kind of sad, too. So, any more great plans there right now? <laughs> What the heck? Hmm. Well, it's a washing machine with program function. Look at that action. Well, it's different. Well, not that different. Well, it kind of makes me feel relaxed.
you little French kids out there.